Let's do a quick demo of Ksonic. We start by installing it using Homebrew. We're going to skip over that right now. And then we can go ahead and create a directory structure with this. So we're going to do ks init. And then we cd into that directory. And if we do a tree command here, you can see we generate a bunch of files. Now we're going to generate a component. It's a deployed service, which is a com combination of a deployment and a service. And we're going to point it at an image and say we want to type node port for that. And then we can apply that to our cluster, which says make that stuff happen. The combination of a set of logical Kubernetes resources is something that we call a component in case on it. So now we can go ahead and see that those things are actually running on our cluster. And if we navigate to that uh, URL, I'm using Minikube here, we can say we have a little guest book, but it doesn't work because we don't have a database set up yet. So let's go ahead and fix that. We're going to get Redis installed. So I can look at prototypes, which are those things that I can use to generate. And I don't see anything applicable here. So let's look at packages that we can install. And we'll go ahead and install the uh, Redis package. And this gives us a set of prototypes that we can use. So we can list the prototypes. And you can see that we have a set of prototypes, including a stateless one. So let's go ahead and create a component from that prototype. We can describe what the, what the uh, parameters there are. And then we'll go ahead and generate that. Great. Now let's go through and also update the version of our application. So we're going to set the new uh, image to 0.2. And then we're going to apply that to both install Redis and get that new image up and running. There we go. Now let's see what this looks like. If I go here, oh, look, we have a fancy guestbook because things are updated. And let's see if Redis is up. And oh, not yet. Give it a second. Is it working yet? There we go. So now that Redis is up and running, woohoo, we have our application. That's how easy it is to get started with Ksonic. And then when we're done, we can just do a KS delete, and that brings all those resources back down. Thanks for watching.